kind of go over my steps and my experience so far with my journey to my breast augmentation. So I've been thinking about this for quite some time now and I just haven't had the time and with my kids, it's been kind of all over the place and my moves and my new job. So finally I have some time off and I'm gonna be able to do this. So I've been kind of holding off and wanting to do it in May, but my boyfriend's coming back from Afghanistan so I wanna look my best and um, I decided to go through with it and just get it done, to schedule it the next two weeks out before I even found my doctor. Um, I asked for my pay time off, my PTO time to get my surgery done for my recovery and I decided just to go ahead and do it. So, um, so far I'll tell you a little bit about my experience and what I've done. So um, I decided probably the last week in March that I wanted to go ahead and go through with my augmentation. So I started um, kind of looking at doctors and kind of researching um, different options that were there for me. So. I went to a couple different doctors, about three of them, and after all of my visits, I decided to go with a doctor in La Jolla. So I heard many great things about him. Um, one of my girlfriends at work actually had her augmentation done with him about six years ago. So they look amazing. So I was like, okay, I think I'm just going to pay the extra money and get them done with Dr. G. So um, a little bit about my experience so far. I've gone with um, Dr. G in La Jolla, and um, I had my... Uh, consultation on the 3rd of April. Saw a couple doctors on the 4th, didn't feel comfortable. Um, some of the doctors didn't do everything that Dr. D did. He took my measurements initially. He asked me kind of what I wanted, what my uh, ultimate goal was for my surgery, um, kind of my expectations and to be realistic about what I wanted. So I went in there thinking I just wanted to get an augmentation, very simple, easy, quick. Well, it turns out I need a little bit of a lift, and um, with a lift, Dr. G recommends doing some liposuction so you have nice, smooth contouring um, afterwards. So I decided to go ahead and um, go with Dr. G. Um, none of the other doctors measured me or took my measurements um, at all during my consultations. They didn't talk to me about size. They didn't talk to me about um, my goal, what I ultimately wanted to look like. They didn't mention anything about lipo, which is kind of what set Dr. G apart. He was the only doctor that said, okay, you know what, with all um, breast lifts that I do, I do liposuction of the auxiliary areas, which is kind of underneath your arms, um, so you have a nice smooth contour after, so you don't look top-heavy with large breasts, and, you know, you're just kind of lumpy everywhere, so he, nice, he likes a nice smooth contour to his work, so... Um, that kind of set him apart, and that's why I said, you know what, I think I'm just going to pay um, a little extra, well, a lot extra after everything, um, and go with Dr. G in La Jolla. He's blocks from where I live. Um, I live in La Jolla, so it's it's kind of difficult to find a plastic surgeon that's close by that does everything out of their office. A lot of them are going to be um, spread out and use actual um, surgical centers for that, and I didn't want to have to do that or go that route. I wanted to have everything done at the same place, so if I have any complications or anything at all, they're available for me. They're there to be able to help me out. So long story short, I went with Dr. G. So today is um, the 10th of April, and I had my pre-op appointment, which was, I was so excited about. Um, I've been researching online like a psycho, looking up YouTube videos and procedures and freaking myself out and, you know, getting all um, kind of paranoid about what my experience might be, looking at horror stories, looking at great stories, just kind of weighing everything out. So um, after a lot of research and everything, I decided to do a little more than just what the doctor um, actually mentioned. So I'm going to actually do um, the auxiliary liposuction, which is underneath the arms. I'm also going to do what's called the bra line um, liposuction, which is the complete back area um, of your back, kind of like where your um, hip and your waist and the top of your back meet. So that whole area there, which sometimes you'll notice it's like down, then it kind of goes like this and it's down and then your bra's right there. So I'm going to get all of that just suctioned out so it's nice and smooth. I'm not going to have any like odd or weird contours. I'm going to have smooth, nice shape. So I want to be able after this to put a bra on and feel great, put a bathing suit on and feel like, oh my God, I look amazing. You know, I don't have this little tiny bit of fat here or this little tiny bump here or anything. So ended up um, spending a lot more money than I initially, init you know, wanted to spend, but it's going to be worth it. I'm not too worried about it. So um, today was my pre-op appointment, so they went over so many different things. So let me show you a little bit about um, little things that I got at my appointment today. So um, first thing I came home with, which I didn't see any other doctor mention to me, was uh, this. It's uh, the Clear Fast uh, BevMD preoperative beverage. So um, this right here, it's a pH balanced nutrition and hydration beverage, improves comfort prior to surgery. It's formulated to curb, hun curb hunger 
and thirst. Um, and it's specially formulated for preoperative patients. So this here is a, a really good tool. It's uh, actually developed by the anesthesiologist that is going to be my anesthesiologist, which I feel really excited about. Um, so basically this product here, um, you take it uh, around 9 a.m. My procedure is going to be done at 11 a.m. So I take it at 9 a.m. Um, and this is the only liquid I'll be able to have before surgery. Usually they tell you don't drink anything, you know, don't eat anything after midnight or have anything to drink after midnight. But this is the only thing they want you to have after midnight. This is 9 a.m. I'll go in at 11. My surgery is at 12. So you drink this. Um, back here you can kind of see the ingredients. It's going to be backwards. I'm sorry. Um, but 230 calories, you know, some vitamins, some potassium, a couple carbs. I'm thinking just to kind of not make you feel so drowsy or uh, uncomfortable after. So this with the time on the top of it so I won't forget 9 a.m. Um, I have to take that. So um, they're ordering me a special compression garment because I'm getting the back lipo, the underarm lipo, and my augmentation and lift. So I'm getting a lollipop lip, which is a little uh, incision around the nipple and down on the breast. It's going to be a very, very small, almost invisible scar. My doctor is very meticulous. He takes his time. So I've seen so many of his before and after pictures, and I feel 100% confident I'm not going to have a bad result. So um, lollipop incision. So around the nipple like this, down, and then a little tiny anchor, not a big anchor. The other doctors I went to, keep this in mind, wanted to do an anchor style, which is a large incision on the bottom of your breast, goes up and around your nipple. So it's kind of like, it's too invasive. I don't want all those scars. I mean, yeah, it's going to be just me and my boyfriend looking at it. I'm not going to walk around naked, but I want to feel good about myself, you know? So anyways, long story short, I'm running out of time. Um, gave me my prescriptions. So I have a prescription for Percocet, um, 325 milligrams. There's going to be, I believe, uh, five four to six and then I take them every four to six hours um, for pain volume I guess to relax the muscle because it's gonna be um, I'm getting a dual pain augmentation which is another great thing about dr. G it's very different they don't go just underneath your breast muscle or over like overs or unders are called he does a combination of both so when you have your natural kind of droop to your breast it's gonna look really good it's gonna look amazing so I'm really excited anyways uh, Percocet and volume I gotta go pick these up and do it right away so you're gonna hear my kids in the background um, here I have Biaxin, 500 milligrams. I'm allergic to a lot of the antibiotics, so this is the one I can take because I'm allergic to like sulfur drugs and penicillin, so this is the next um, best thing to that. Um, Zofran for nausea. Um, I guess they say that it's common after anesthesia. You could feel a little bit nauseous, so I'm going to be taking uh, some Zofran, and I'm, I've taken it before with my son. I was... Um, I had a condition called hyperemesis gravidarum, so I could hardly eat. I gained like 12 pounds. Took Zofran my whole pregnancy. Very safe. Just doesn't make you feel nauseous, so... Um, this is uh, my prescriptions, and then they also give you, um, oh my god, a medication list. They give you um, what to avoid two weeks before. I'm kind of quick, and which I'm excited I did that. I made the decision. I jumped on it. I just said I'm doing it, and that's it. Um, so many consent forms. I'm not going to go over all of them with you, um, but you have to fill out a consent form for every single procedure. So because I'm having multiple procedures, I have a, a augmentation um, consent. I have a max capacity consent, which is for the lift. I have... Um, the auxiliary uh, lipo consent and also my uh, bra lining lipo is what they call. So a lot of consent forms, um, payment receipts, which uh, I don't want to tell you how much I paid, but if you guys um, uh, message me or email me, I put a little link on the bottom. Um, you guys can ask me what I spent, how much, uh, all that kind of details, where my doctor's located. I'll give you this information. I'm really excited. Um, so basically, as of today's date, I'm exactly. Uh, six days out from my surgery so I'm super excited really excited about it I'm just I can't wait to be able to put clothes on and feel sexy and I have to worry about oh my god what kind of bra do I need for this or shit I need to go take you know a run to Victoria's Secret and buy a special bra because my boobs are not as high as they were and um, I've kind of lost a little bit of volume so I'm gonna just feel great I'm just gonna be like so comfortable I'm gonna feel a little bit better about myself also um, I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing it for anybody else. I know people are like, well, why are you doing it? Your breasts are already large. You know, you look good or this and that. I've lost a lot of weight. Um, just in the last month, I've gone down about 12 pounds. I've lost a total of like 25. I'm down to like a size four. I feel really good about myself, but this is kind of the finishing touches. I don't want this little like arm fat here. I want this gone. I want that sucked out. The back fat, it's like the hardest thing to get rid of. You know, you guys are all women. That area by your bra, you can work out and work out and work out, but you're going to have a little bit of skin there. So getting rid of it. So anyways, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Bye.